children now we have to do problems find the principal values of the following principal values means principal values of inverse trigonometric functions the first question is sin inverse 1 by root 2 so what do you mean by principal value the value of the trigono inverse trigonometric function which lies in the range of principal branch that is known as principal value so what is the principal value of the sin inverse 1 by root 2? So let we write y is equal to sin inverse 1 by root 2. So if y equal to sin inverse x we can write sin y is equal to 1 by root 2. 1 by root 2 at which angle 1 by root 2 that is positive acute acute angle we can take so we can write sine of pi by 4 sine y is equal to sine pi by 4 what is the range of the sine inverse sine inverse what is the domain and range of sine inverse minus 1 1 2 this minus pi by 2 pi by 2 so the sine function is positive here 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 here first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth sine is positive in first and second but we can't take this value from the second quadrant since the range is minus 90 to 90 so we have to take the value from first quadrant that is 45 degree or pi by 4 so sin y is sin pi by 4 which implies what is y this y is equal to pi by 4 is pi by 4 in that range this pi by 4 belongs to minus 90 to 90 this 45 is in this interval closed interval so this answer is correct y is equal to pi by 4 now check one negative value. Second question. Let sine inverse minus half. Sine inverse minus half. So let y is equal to sine inverse minus half. So we can write sine y is equal to minus half. Here the value is negative. We have to express this minus half in terms of sign. But we can't take the value. Sign is negative in third and fourth. That we can't take since the range is minus 90 to 90. Here 0, 0 to 90 in the first quadrant. Then 0 to minus 90. This part is, this part is negative. 0 minus pi by 2. So here acute angle but negative sign. Here acute angle with positive sign. That is the difference. So half is at which angle? Sin. Sin 30. Sin 30 means sin pi by 6. So here you have to write. It is negative. So we have to take the angle from this quadrant. That is negative of theta. So here I have to write sin minus theta. What is sin minus theta minus sin theta? So we get minus half. So sin y is equal to sin of minus pi by 6 or y is equal to minus pi by 6. If it belongs to minus pi by 2 pi by 2, always you have to check it. It is belongs to that. So this answer is correct. Okay. Here you write sin minus theta minus sin theta. What is cos minus theta? Cos minus theta is cos theta. Okay. Now the third question. Third one is equal to cos inverse minus half. Cos inverse minus half. So let y is equal to cos inverse minus half ok so what is cos y cos y is equal to minus half 
now what about cos function what is the range of cos function cos inverse is from minus 1 1 that is the domain to 0 pi so this is 0 pi so these two you have to take okay you can't take any other interval so cos y is negative here cos is negative in second quadrant second quadrant value we can calculate as pi minus theta so here you have to write cos of pi minus theta theta means 1 by 2 at which angle cos 60 cos 60 sine 30 is 1 by 2 and cos 60 is 1 by 2 so pi minus pi by 3 cos pi minus theta is minus cos theta so we get minus half so cos y so y is equal to you can simplify that cos 3 pi minus pi is 2 pi by 3 so what is y y is equal to 2 pi by 3 what is y y is the question okay In the first two question i didn't write that so cos inverse minus half means it is 2 pi by 3 is it belongs to this interval 0 to pi pi by 3 means it is 60 60 into 2 is 120 120 is in the second quadrant so that is correct okay so finally you have to write like this now the fourth question fourth question tan inverse minus root 3 tan inverse minus root 3 so let y is equal to tan inverse minus root 3 okay so tan y is equal to minus root 3 then what about tan inverse range tan inverse from r to capital r to minus pi by 2 pi by 2 so open interval okay minus i didn't write minus so minus root 3 so tan inverse also for tan function also you have to take these two it's positive acute angle here negative of theta so you can't take these two intervals okay so tan y is equal to tan of minus angle root 3 at which angle tan 60 is tan 60 is root 3 that is tan pi by 3 but here the value is negative so you have to write minus pi by 3 okay so y is equal to minus pi by 3 what is y tan inverse minus root 3 minus pi by 3 is it belongs to this range this one is minus 60 we have minus 90 to 90 that is the range of tan inverse so it belongs to minus pi by 2 pi by 3 okay now the next question fifth question cot inverse cot inverse minus 1 by root 3 cot inverse what is the range of cot inverse function cot is also from r to r to but the interval open interval 0 to pi ok so let y is equal to cot inverse minus 1 by root 3 then you can write cot y is equal to minus 1 by root 3. Here cot, here it is negative. What is the range of cot inverse? 0 to pi. So you can take the first and second quadrant. So it is cot is negative. You have to express this in terms of cot. But this value is negative. So you have to take the angle from the second quadrant. You have to write as pi minus theta so pi minus which angle 1 by root 3 
tan 30 is 1 by root 3. Here cot means cot 60. So cot y is equal to cot of pi minus pi by 3. Pi minus pi by 3 that is in the second quadrant. Second quadrant cot is negative. And we have the range up to here 0 to pi. So cot y is equal to cot of 2 pi by 3. So y is equal to 2 pi by 3. Is 2 pi by 3 is in that range 0 to pi. 2 pi by 3 means 60 into 2 that is 120 that is in the range 0 to pi. So cot inverse cot inverse minus 1 by root 3 is equal to 2 pi by 3. Children you can avoid these all steps it is a one mark question. So the easy way is how to write look here. If sin inverse, then tan inverse and cosec inverse. For these all function, the range is range is minus pi by 2, pi by 2. Here sin inverse it is closed one and cosec inverse it is um, sorry for tan inverse x. It is open 1 and cosec inverse x closed 1 and minus 1 number 0 that is that. That slight difference is that but almost it is in that range minus pi by 2 pi by 2. So if sin inverse tan inverse cosec inverse that is given as positive value you can directly write the acute angle. Theta acute angle means 30, 60, 45 in that range these all values only will come. So you can write the acute angle if these are positive the value is given as positive. If x if x is negative if x is positive you can write answer as answer acute angle positive ok. If x that is the bracket if that x is negative then how we write the answer negative of acute angle ok. It is a shortcut method you cannot write all these steps directly when we get the question look the question if the question cot inverse minus 1 by root 3 you can directly write the answer. So just you keep this in your mind sin inverse tan inverse cosec inverse the range is almost minus pi by 2 pi by 2. The first one closed interval tan inverse open and cosec inverse closed and minus 1 0 minus set 0. And if x is negative if x is positive the answer is always the acute angle that is pi by 3 pi by 6 pi by 4 these three values. If this x that is bracket part is negative the answer is negative of acute angle. That is that fourth quadrant negative side only we have to take. And what about the next three functions? Next three means cos inverse, cos inverse, cot inverse and sec inverse. Okay, sec inverse I write x. And here the range is 0 pi. 0 pi cos inverse x 0 to pi that is closed interval cot inverse x it is open interval and sec inverse x is closed interval minus set pi by 2 that difference is there but nearly the 0 to pi that range. So if x is positive if x is positive answer is acute angle answer is acute angle you have to write. If x is negative, hmm? if x is negative, the answer is pi minus acute angle. Here if x is negative, you can write negative of acute angle. That is only for that three functions. Here you have to take the value from the second quadrant since the range is up to 0 to pi. So pi minus acute angle that way you can write you can avoid all these steps okay. 
so the last fifth question now we have sixth question cosec inverse minus root 2 cosec inverse minus root 2 can we write directly cosec inverse cosec function it is negative so how to write the answer minus of acute angle minus of which angle root 2 cosec root 2 at which angle pi by 4 so it is minus pi by 4 is it in the interval that also you have to verify is it belongs to what is the range minus pi by 2 pi by 2 and minus 1 0 is there is it belongs to that range yes so the principal value of cosec inverse minus root 2 is equal to minus pi by 4 those who want you can write all these steps okay no problem but it is a one mark question that's why maybe the objective type questions so directly you can write cosec y is equal to minus root 2 or cosec y is equal to cosec minus pi by 4. So, y is equal to minus pi by 4 which belongs to minus pi by 2, pi by 2, closed one, minus 0. So, that minus pi by 4 is the answer. Okay. Now, the next question. Question number 7. Find the value of tan inverse root 3. Tan inverse root 3 minus sec inverse minus 2. Tan inverse root 3 minus sec inverse minus 2. Here we have two inverse functions. So, first we can find tan inverse root 3. What is tan inverse root 3? It is positive. So, you can directly write the acute angle. Root 3 means pi by tan pi by 3. That is tan 60 is root 3. So, tan inverse pi by 3. Tan inverse root 3 means it is pi by 3. Now, the next term is sec inverse. Sec inverse minus 2. Here, sec function and it is negative. So, for cot, cos and sec, you have to take the value from the second quadrant that is pi minus theta. So, pi minus which angle? 2. Sec 2 means sec 60, pi by 3. So, pi minus pi by 3. So, that is equal to 2 pi. Okay. Therefore, what is tan inverse root 3 minus sec inverse minus 2? That is equal to pi by 3 minus 2 pi by 3. So, that is equal to minus pi by 3. Okay. So, when two terms are there, you can directly write the answer. So, is it clear how to write for sin inverse, cosec inverse and tan inverse? X is negative means you have to write negative of acute angle cos cot and sec neg inverse negative means you have to write pi minus acute angle. If positive means you have to write only the acute angle. Now the next question. Sin inverse sin 3 pi by 5. Next, eighth one. Sin inverse sin 3 pi by 5. sin inverse sin 3 pi by 5. Children in the first video I wrote like this sin inverse of sin x is equal to x when minus pi by 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to pi by 2 and sin of sin inverse x is equal to x if minus 1 less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 1. It is very important. Now, here we have sin inverse of sin 3 pi by 5. So, can we write answer as 3 pi by 5? 
what is the value of 3 pi by 5? Pi by 5 means 180 by 5 that is 15 then 30, 36. 36 into 3 means 108. Is it in the range? What is the sin inverse sin x is equal to x? What is the range? Minus 5 by 2, pi by 2 that is minus 90 to 90. But here 36 into 3 is more than 90. So, this value is not in the range minus pi by 2, pi by 2. Okay. So, we can't write this is equal to x. Sin inverse sin x is equal to x if x is in the interval minus 90, 90. But here it is not that interval. So, we can't write the answer as 3 pi by 5. So, we have to do some simplification or we can write in another way. Sin inverse sin children sin theta sin is positive in the first quadrant and second quadrant sin theta is same as sin pi minus theta so here instead of this theta we can write pi minus 3 pi by 5 now you simplify that's equal to sin inverse sin 5 pi minus 3 pi that is equal to 2 pi by 5. Now is it equal to 2 pi by 5? What is pi by 5? 180 by 5, 15, 36. Ah, that is 36. 36 into 2 is 72. Is 72 in this range? Yes. So we can write as 2 pi by 5 since it belongs to the range minus pi by 2 pi. Okay. So, look once again sin inverse of sin 3 pi by 5. What is the value of that? Okay. That value that we can't write 3 pi by 5 since it does not belongs to the interval minus pi by 2 pi by 2. So, we write 3 pi by 5 as using this result we can write sin theta is same as sin pi minus theta. So, we write pi minus 3 pi by 5 that is 2 pi by 5. So, the answer is 2 pi by 5 since that 2 pi by 5 belongs to the interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Next question, tan inverse, 9th one tan inverse of tan, tan inverse of tan 3 pi by 4, okay. Then here also the same result, tan inverse of tan x is equal to x if x is in the range. What is the range of tan function? Tan function range is equal to minus pi by 2 pi by 2 that is open interval ok. So, can we write this is equal to 3 pi by 4 what is 3 pi by 4 value pi by 4 is 45 45 into 3 135 is it in the range minus pi by 2 pi by 2 is it in this range no. So, we can't write this is equal to 3 pi by 4. So, here also you have to do, you have to write 3 pi by 4 in another way, ok. So, we use the result tan theta, here 3 pi by 4, this I can write like this, look children, I can write pi minus pi by 4, can we write like that? Pi minus pi by 4 is 4 pi minus pi is 3 pi, 3 pi by 4, ok. So, what is tan pi minus theta? Tan pi minus theta that is in the second quadrant tan minus pi minus theta is minus of tan theta. So, here tan inverse of minus tan pi by 4. 
tan inverse of tan pi minus pi by 4. Tan pi minus theta is second quadrant. So, it is minus tan theta. So, minus. Then you can't cancel this tan inverse and tan. That is wrong. Minus tan theta. Minus tan theta. How we write tan of minus theta? Is it possible? Tan minus theta is minus tan theta. So, this minus you have to put inside. So, tan inverse of tan minus pi by 4. Now, can we write minus pi by 4 as answer? Tan inverse of tan x. Is this belongs to this range? Minus 45 is in the range minus 90 to 90. This belongs to the range. So, the answer is minus pi by 4. Okay, once again you check it. Tan inverse of tan 3 pi by 4. 3 pi by 4, this we simplify. 3 pi by 4 is pi minus pi by 4. Then pi minus theta is minus tan theta. Then in the next step, this minus we can put inside. This only for tan, sin and cosec. For cos minus theta is cos theta itself. So we can't take minus 2 inside. That is not possible. Here it is possible. So we write it negative pi by next one cos inverse cos cos inverse cos 7 pi by 6 cos inverse cos 7 pi by 6. Yeah. Cos inverse of cos x is equal to x. When this possible? When x belongs to the range. Which range? 0 to pi. 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to pi. 0 to pi is the range of cos function. So, we can't write this equal to 7 pi by 6. Is it possible? Pi by 6 is 30. 30 into 7 is 210. Cos range is only from 0 to pi. This 210 in the next quadrant. So, we can't write answer as 7 pi by 6. So, here also we have to change it. Cos inverse of cos 7 pi by 6 that we can write as cos inverse of cos 7 pi by 6 is pi plus pi by 6. Isn't it? Cos inverse of cos pi plus pi by 6. Now, what is cos pi plus theta? Cos pi plus theta that is in the third quadrant that is minus of cos theta. Okay. So, cos inverse of minus cos pi by 6. In the last question, we put this minus inside since tan minus theta is equal to minus tan theta. Here we can't write cos minus theta is just cos theta, not minus cos theta. So, we can't put this minus inside. So, minus cos theta we can express in another way. Cos is negative in the second quadrant also. Minus cos theta is same as cos pi minus theta. Cos pi plus theta and cos pi minus theta both are minus cos theta. So, this minus cos theta I can write as cos of pi minus theta. Okay. So, cos inverse cos simplify this 5 pi by 6 is 5 pi by 6 in the interval 0 to pi. Pi by 6 is 30. 30 into 5 is 150. Is 150 in the range 0 to pi. Pi means 180. Yes. So, the answer is 5 pi by 6. That belongs to the interval 0 to pi. Okay. So, we got the answer. Once again you check it, first we split 7 pi by 6, pi plus pi by 6, 
cos pi plus theta is minus cos theta then minus cos theta we express in another way because we can't take minus 2 inside that is only possible for tan cosecant sin. So, here the for cos inverse, cot inverse and sec inverse its range is first and second quadrant. So, we express second quadrant value then we get the answer. Now, the next one. cos inverse cos 13 pi by 6, 13 pi by 6. Again 13 pi by 6, pi by 6 is 30, 13 to 13 means it is more than 180. So, we can't write the answer as 13 pi by 6. So, we have to split it. So, this cos inverse cos 13 pi by 6, 13 pi by 6 we can write as, is this possible 2 pi plus pi by 6, 2 pi into 6 is 12 pi plus pi is 13 pi by 6 and what is cos 2 pi plus theta, cos 2 pi plus theta, 2 pi means 360 that is same as cos theta. So, that is cos inverse of cos pi by 6, okay. So, pi by 6, that is an acute angle that belongs to the interval 0 to pi. So, pi by 6 is the answer. Next, 12th one, tan inverse, tan this inverse, 7 pi by 6. Okay, 7 pi by 6 that is 30 into 7 that is equal to 210 that is not in the range. 7 pi by 6 is not in the range which is the range of tan inverse function minus pi by 2 pi by 2. This value is not in the range. So, we can't write answer as 7 pi by 6. So, we have to change it. How we change tan inverse tan 7 pi by 6. That is equal to tan inverse tan pi plus pi by 6, isn't it? 7 pi by 6 is equal to pi plus pi by 6. What is tan pi plus theta? 180 plus theta that is in the third quadrant tan is positive. So, it is tan theta. So, tan inverse of tan pi by 6. So, can we write pi by 6? It is acute angle. It is in the uh, range. What is the range? Minus pi by 2. Open interval. Okay. So, minus pi by 6 is the answer. Okay. Now, two more questions children. What is the value of? Find the value of sine bracket pi by 3 minus sine inverse minus half. Okay, sine of pi by 3 minus sine inverse minus half. So, sine of pi by 3 minus sine inverse minus half. That is sine of pi by 3 minus what is sin inverse minus half sin inverse is negative if sin inverse is that x is negative you have to write negative of the acute angle so minus of what is the acute angle 1 by 2 at which angle 1 by 2 at 30 the 30 means pi by 6 okay so sin pi by 3 plus pi by 6 what is 60 plus 30 sin 90 sin 90 that is pi by 2 that is equal to 1 ok this was the board question last year board question is equal to 1 
Now one more question. Put in the one. Tan inverse root 3. Find the value. Tan inverse root 3 minus cot inverse minus root 3. write the value that is only tan inverse root 3 it is acute angle tan inverse root 3 root 3 means such pi by tan inverse root 3 minus cot inverse minus root 3 is equal to tan inverse root 3 means 60 degree that is pi by 3 minus cot inverse minus root 3 cot is negative if seek cos and cot negative you have to write the value as pi minus theta so put a bracket and write pi minus what is theta root 3 tan root 3 means 60 degree so cot root 3 means it is 30 degree that is, is equal to pi by okay. that is pi by 3 minus 5 pi by 6 simplify LCM is 6, 2 pi minus 5 pi, so minus 3 pi by 6, so that is equal to minus pi by 2. So children in the first two videos what you have to learn is the table that is the domain and range of all six trigonometric functions just that much only you have to learn remaining part is the only the explanation so you have to learn only the domain and range of six trigonometric functions then the problems based on the principle what is the value principal value of inverse trigonometric functions so the what you have to keep in your mind is sin inverse, cos inverse, sin inverse, cosec inverse and tan inverse. These three are negative you have to write minus of acute angle. Positive means just write acute angle. Cot inverse, cos inverse, sec inverse. If these are negative you have to write pi minus theta, pi minus acute angle. Positive means just write positive acute angle. That much only you have to keep in your mind then always you have to check whether this in the range then only we write the write that value this all look 13 pi by 6 we can't write answer as 13 pi by 6 usually cos inverse cos x we can write as x if that this value is in the range otherwise we can't write so you have to do some rearrangement in that then you will get the final answer i hope all of you understood this session thank you